Hey legends, how are you? Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you, well, it's not really an episode, it's a mini training on how to create a countdown timer for your live streams or your pre-recorded streams, if that's your thing, um, your live streams uh, using Canva. Um, <laughs> The sun is coming for me, right? Look, the sun wants to eat my face, so I apologize for that, but it's okay. Most of this video is going to be me sharing my screen and showing you step by step how to create a, um, a countdown timer inside of Canva. So you'll see less of this hot mess, but you'll see more of the stuff that you are here to watch. So um, I do this type of training inside of my free group on Facebook. It's called, what is it called? Get Leads with Connection Building Facebook Strategies. Every week I drop a little mini training to help uh, business owners to grow their business online. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm talking about. So I made this uh, intro video for my live streams. Um, I'll just play it to you to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing in this little mini training. There we go. I was having a little jam out session because I love the boogie bar beats. Um, but let's start with who the heck I am. My name is Remy uh, from Remyo Digital. I am a connection building expert and I help and I teach small business owners uh, to connect more to their customers and their clients online so that they can build a loyal customer base for their growing business, right? That's what I do. And as I said, I do weekly training every week inside of my group. Um, so I'm just going to now uh, jump in and share my canvas screen with you. Um, but just very quickly, if you're thinking, well, do I need a countdown timer? Well, um, what I would say is that often when we go live, if we are going live on our Facebooks or our Instagrams or our YouTubes or wherever else you go live, often what happens is there's a bit of a delay from when you click go live to when the notifications go out to your followers and your people. And so that could be 10, 20 seconds before that comes through. And you probably have seen that when you go live, there's often a delay. You know, you come on and you're talking and there's nobody there until like maybe the first minute or so and then people start to come on, right? So this is a great way to fill that space with a little camera countdown so that when people do hop on, they know that you are coming. Um, but also you can use your countdown as a way to advertise or promote something or to even talk about what you've got coming up in that week's show or that particular episode. And another way that you could use a countdown timer is if you do things like virtual events or you have guests coming on, you could also use timers to bridge a gap, right? So you might pop up a five minute timer and say, you know, it's five minutes until the next guest is coming on so that people know not to end the stream or if you need a loo break or a drink break or a cigarette break or whatever right you can use a countdown timer if you're doing these longer streams to just break up those intervals so this is a really quick and easy way to build a countdown timer using canva um, which is a free platform feel free to go and register for your account um, and there are better ways of doing this. Of course there are. And this isn't 100% personalized, right? But it's semi-personalized. And you're going to see what I mean when I get into the training with you. Um, but for me, this was a quick way just to make a nice video, put some music on it. And you can add music inside of uh, Canva as well. I will show you how to do all of that. But this is step by step for you to use as inspiration. Um, to create your own little piece of magic on Canva. So let's do a share screen real quick and get into it. Let's talk in Rem, more, more training, get to it already. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, so this is, why am I shouting? Like, ugh. Okay, so calm down, Rem. We are, <laughs> this is, let me just check to make sure you guys can see it. You can see it, there you go. Let me get rid of me. You don't need to see any more of this face right now. So this is the Canva um, dashboard, okay? This is what you get to when you are logged into Canva. And 
at the top right, there's a button that says create a design. It's in purple. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's purple at the time of recording this and the name may change. But essentially, when you log into Canva, you're looking for the button that allows you to create a new design and not use one of their templates. So we're going to click on create a design. That is your first step. And it will bring up a list of suggested things that you can make inside of Canva. And I want you to go down to this one, which says video. And, it, and the reason you're going to choose this is because it gives you the exact exact size template that you need to fit for your streaming video, which is 1920 by 1080 um, pixels. All right, so you have your template area here, which is set to the exact right size for your video. So your next step is I want you to go over here to the left where it says templates. I want you to scroll down until you see text, styles, audio, and then click on videos. And then what I want you to do is to go into this white box here where it says search videos and I want you to type in countdown. Enter and you'll see it will pull up all the countdown timers that Canva has already in stock that you can use. Now these are mostly showing five or 10 second videos. So I'm gonna go in and type in countdown 60 because I want a 60 second video and it will bring up, excuse me, <coughs> and it will bring up all the one minute videos, which is what I prefer to use. And really it becomes about you deciding which style you like or what is on brand for you. Um, you might like to have this type of one, or you might like to have, oops, I dropped that one. You might like to have one that's a bit camo style. Like this is what I was talking about when I said that these are not 100% um, personalized. They're gonna be semi-personalized. You kind of have to find one that you like, that you think your audience might like, or you think that at least relatively is on brand for you and go with one that just makes you feel happy. And remember, you can resize these as well. You don't have to have the whole screen. You could, you know, make them a part of the screen. And then if I delete this background, you'd have it as part of the screen. And then over here, you could have your logo or some words or your mission statement or anything you want. OK, so you can play with play with that as well. So for the purposes of this video and because my brand colors are black, white, and red. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to find one that's really quite just a bit simple. So I could go with this white one, or I could go with this black one. And also, if you hover over, it will give you a little preview of what the numbers look like. Let's see, just hover without clicking. So I'm just going to go for this black one here. It seems relatively simple. Now, if I want to zhuzh this up, I could do something like add some text. So I might click on the text on the left hand side. And then I might add a heading or a body of text, whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. And then I might want to write something like www.remiodigital.com. And just make that a bit smaller so it's not in your face and line that up in the middle. And I might, I might wanna add a little bit of color into this because my colors are red, white, and black, or black, white, and red. Click on the color palette and choose from my brand colors. And there we go, I've added a little bit of red. So if we have a little look, if you go up to here, there's a play button, it says one minute. If you click on that, it gives you a preview of what it would look like. And there we go, we have, um, a countdown timer and it's also got my my brand website my business website so you could do something like that you could also use this text to perhaps put in I don't know it does your brand or your business have a tagline you might want to use that so my tagline line is changing the world one conversation at a time so perhaps I could put that in <coughs> And what that does is it's, um, yeah, reinforcing your brand message to your visitors who are coming and they are watching your countdown 
reinforcing your message to your followers and to your audience about who you are and what you are. So that's something you could use the text for. You can also click on it to change the fonts and they have a, a massive array of fonts. So you could change that up to anything that you like. So there we go, we just put it in normal text rather than capitals. So you can play around with the text that you wanna put on the screen. The other cool thing that you can do is if you go over to the left menu again, and if you scroll up this time, above text, there's something called elements. If you click on elements, you can add some cool elements into your, into your video. They can be animated or they could be static images. Um, you can search for things that you like. So for example, you could search for fireworks, just type that in, hit enter, and it will bring up all the different types of fireworks that you could drop into your video if fireworks is what you like and just underneath this if you look there's a subsection and it will just show you only the animated fireworks if you want and there's I mean I, I think these are really fun to add they just add a little bit of sparkle if that's your thing drop it wherever you want you could drop it in the middle so it's just uh, a nice little feature let's have a little look at that in a preview There we go, so there's fireworks that are popping off around. So it's just another nice little feature that you could add. Um, one of my favorites to add is I like drips. Drip, drip, drip. Let's have a little look. Um, you saw in my video that I showed earlier, I had this one, which is the bouncing balls. Bouncing balls. Let's get rid of these um, fireworks. Just highlight it and click delete. Or use the bin icon. Um, Let's find a nice little drip as an example. <laughs> you can have a bit of drippy pizza if you like. You can literally add anything that you want. And particularly if you think about your brand, like I remember there's the beer guy who's popped up the last couple of times on StreamYard on the live chat. Um, so he might want to get like an animated beer or something, right? Let's have a look for that. <coughs> oh, I got a tickly throat. I do apologize. So you could also, you know, just grab a beer can, right? So think about what your brand is. You might want to have some little, there we go. That's perfect, right? A bit of a slice of pizza and some beer. That's a good Saturday night right there for some people. <laughs> Let's have a little look at that. There we go. I've made a personalized countdown timer with beer and pizza. So this is something that you can play around with, obviously, for your business, for your brand. You choose what works for you. Um, I was going to show you the drips, wasn't I? Drip, drip. I just like the cool things that you can do inside of Canva, how you can tweak things. Um, there was a nice one. It's gone. Where have you gone, little drip? Oh, I can't find it, so maybe we'll we'll miss that out for now. But anyway, um, oh, it might be in my recently used. Let's have a little look. Oh yeah, there it is. So you can drag on a drip, right, from Elements, make it a little bit smaller. And if we push it up, it looks like it's kind of dropping in on the top of your countdown. And then if we preview that, it's just a really nice, cool effect that you could use if that is to your liking. So anyway, Canva gives you the power to kind of choose how you want yours to look. It gives you the, the countdown timer itself, and then you can add whatever you want. So whether you want to add your URL, if you want to add a little a welcome, it's totally editable and within your control of how you want your countdown timer to look. Maybe that works for you. Welcome with a little countdown timer in your link, right? That's a bit girly, but you catch my drift. You can edit it however you want. And then the other thing that you can do is you can add some audio. So if you go again to the left, so I told you earlier about adding music. Now, if you have a cool friend like me, Boogie Bob, who lives in New York City, who makes beats, uh, he just sent me his music files. Uh, I downloaded those to my computer, to my hard drive. And then I use this area here called uploads. And I was able to upload that music file to play on my countdown timer. But if you don't have a boogie bob in your pocket, everybody should have a boogie bob because he's awesome. Then uh, Canva gives you this audio feature here. If you click on that, 
it will give you some free music that you can use and you can also search in this search bar for the type of music you want um, happy music sad music dreamy music whatever you want you search in there or you can just do a straight scroll and just till until you find something you like and uh, if you like trap music right there's some piano there's instrumental there's all sorts of types of free music that you can use from inside a canva which i think is pretty cool um and if you want to just have a little preview just hover over it and then click and it'll give you a little taster of the type of things you want or use the search bar so i'm just going to type in pop pop music let's see what we get okay, this one There we go, that's happy and delicious. So what I might do is just pick it up, drag and drop, and now that piece of music is going to play when I play this video. So I will go to the preview and show you. It's really that simple, drag and drop. So you can drag any music you want, drop it onto the video and we are good to go. So I'm gonna show you how to, that's it. That's essentially it, right? <laughs> you go into your video section, you choose the type of countdown that you want. And um, once you're happy with the, the countdown that you want, you can add text to it, you can add elements to it, you can add music to it. You can really uh, customize it to make it really personalized for you. And then the next step is for us to go ahead and download this video. So if you go up to top right, there's a button here. It says download video. If you press on that, and then you want to download it as an MP4. So I'm going to click download, and that will download. And uh, when you download the MP4 files, they are generally speaking larger than image files. So they will take a little bit longer to download. But I'm going to fast forward this bit. OK, so that's now downloaded. Now we need to upload it into StreamYard. And of course, if you're using other streaming platforms, OBS or oh, the sun or other <laughs> streaming platforms, then, you know, you have to upload it your way. But I'm going to show you how to do it inside of StreamYard because StreamYard is my jam. Um, let's do a share screen of this screen so you can see step by step what I have done. All right, there we go. This is a hot mess. But anyway, so on your StreamYard, on your right hand side, you have something called brands. You can have different types of brands. I've got a white brand and a red brand, or you could create a new brand. But I'm going to go on to my red brand. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like at the top. You've got your brand colors and your logos and your overlays. If you go down to video clips, you will see a plus sign where it allows you to upload your new video clip that you've just created. So if you click on that, so it's now uploading from my hard drive the 60 second new video right here it's uploading that I've just created and it will pop it into StreamYard so it will be there as a permanent video clip that I can use every time I go live I go live and then I hit the the new intro and it will play so it's uploaded so let's have a look at look at it on the screen you're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow There we go, guys. There we go. So that's it. That is how you can make a countdown timer inside of Canva. Please let me know if this was useful. Drop some comments below if you have any other questions about this. Um, but yeah, it's fairly simple to do. It's low budget to do if you have a Canva account and, uh, and you can semi-personalize it to your own liking. I do hope you found this useful. Feel free to follow me. It's the wrong one here at Remio Digital, Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn. Feel free to hook up and send me a message if you're watching this video and you found it useful. All right, guys, have a great day. And I want to end by saying we can all change the world by one conversation at a time. Take care.